Hey guys, welcome back to Corolla. It's 147 on the 29th of August, and it's a Wednesday. <clears throat> we have quite a bit of mail to go through, and what we get in the mail will decide on what we do today. We have a letter from Tom Nook. We might only notice, thank you for, thank, thanks to all of you, I've saved a fair bit of money, so on August 29th, 2012, which is today. I'm closing the shop for remodeling. Thanks for your patience. Yes! Nook's Cranny is upgrading to the brand new shop, which we will show off tomorrow. The shop is closed today, which means I know what we're gonna do today. Okay. I need to take all this stuff out and organize all my letters. We might have to go save some that I wanna keep. Yay, Nook is remodeling. Maybe we can finally get a fishing rod or something. I'm assuming these are from the museum. And why I go ahead and do this all this letters, there was a Nintendo Direct early this morning or last night in Japan. Um, we have more information on Animal Crossing 3DS, and I'm going to go ahead and insert a bunch of the random stuff that I've seen so far about the game as I play along today. Oh, we got a new visitor. And nothing on that. So I'm going to go ahead and talk about the new Animal Crossing 3DS stuff in the videos today as I go along. Okay, we have a trilobite already, so we can sell that. A mammoth skull. Beasts were extinct a relatively short while ago. Mammoths lived in Corolla. Interesting. So this needs to be donated, but we can sell this one. Looks like the rain stopped, too. Okay, HRA... Um, we don't, we don't need that. It's the same as last time. Another one from Mom, my dear Mike. Well, I just got back from a short trip. I love traveling by train. Around every bend of the track, there are new adventures, new people, and new memories to be made. Choo-choo, Mom. Great! I'm glad you had fun. Okay. There we go. That takes care of all of our mail. And what did we get as our last fossil? A dinosaur track. Yes! Preserved in mud ages ago. That means we also um, have finished all of the small little nice, the single stand fossils. We've actually finished all of those already. Believe it or not. Okay. Well, last night I did some more off screen and I played for a little bit, not as much as I said I was going to. But Lobo was standing outside of my house what I was about to say. So I was like, okay, fine. I'll talk to him one more time. And he was like, hey. How much do you like fruit? I was like, sure, I like fruit. He's like, let me tell you a little secret. I've got an apple. You can't get them in this town. They're very difficult to get. Would you like one? I was like, sure. He's like, I'll sell it to you. 640 bells right now. You can have this apple. He's like, sure. 640 bells, we have an apple. The apple is worth 500 bells, so it's actually a pretty good deal. Because now we can plant it and start growing an apple orchard because we can sell these for a lot of money. Now I'm going to plant this apple tree. Um, we'll plant it right here behind our house. Chop the tree down. Dig out the stump. And plant the apple. Yay! So hopefully that'll grow. Into a lovely tree. Okay, we can go visit that new neighbor. After we go... See what's in the dump. Stage show paper. Big bro shirt. Yes! Man, we're just having a great day today. We're getting all sorts of cool stuff. Mario! So a new shirt. Mario shirt. Okay, let's go visit that new neighbor while looking around town to see if there anything is exciting going on. We can go check with Copper, see if anybody's gonna visit now that Red is gone. And this, this video is actually just going to be the normal daily stuff of, of um, Animal Crossing. And then t later today I'll post a video. Because we're going to go ahead and travel to my old town, which I played a year ago or two years ago for when they did the Rossetti Revenge on Animal Crossing Community. Probably not going to have any fossils today because they're all going to be gyroids because it rained. And I'm really OCD. I mean ADD. I can't freaking finish a sentence. 
So we're gonna go visit my old town, which I believe is called Albany. We're gonna take a trip to there, visit, see what's up, um, and go ahead and show off that aspect of the game of traveling. Now, I feel like we'll be visiting that town a lot because I had a lot of items there and I'd like to get some of them and visit, and there's a lot of neighbors that I'd like to get there. So we're gonna be doing some of that. What the heck is this? What in the world? Alright, uh. Yo, what the great nap? What? It's 2012? But I've been. That means I've been asleep for more over 50, 150 years, and I can't read! Minutes, minutes, not, not years, minutes. Which seems like such a long time when I put it that way. Oh, the name's Gulliver. Now then, where did I wash up this time? This beach looks familiar. But I guess they all do, don't they? You're probably wondering how I wound up here. Well, that's a story and a half. I'll tell you. I was on my boat, the Krusty Barnacle, when a wild storm started brewing off my stern. The boats, I mean. Oh, my stern, the boat stern, huh? So there I was, fighting the wind and the rain, trying to steer us to safety. When a mighty wave snatched me off the deck. Oh, my mates tried to save me, sure, but it was too late. Actually, now that I think about it, they might have been the ones who pushed me overboard. But never mind that! Seeing as how you saved my life, I'd like you to accept a small treasure, an exotic wonder I found on my travels. I bartered this off a seedy-looking merchant when I was visiting a far-off port town. You won't find another like it anywhere, at least I don't think you will. You know, I'm just a rolling stone. Never know where I'm going. Hmm, wait a second. Maybe that's why I don't swim so well. <laughs> anyway, I'm just trying to tell you is. The guys, my shipmates, they think that maybe if they tie me to the mast, I won't fall off the boat so much. So with any luck, maybe I won't be washing up on your beach too often. At least not for a little while. You're welcome, I saved your life. Go run away, run away, run away, you little birdie. You got blood all over your face. Wait, those are just your eyebrows. What did he give us? A Chinese lioness. Ooh, cool. Okay, so I'm distracted. I've got the TV on in the background watching this hurricane. Anyways, this is Gulliver. And in the other games, he drives a UFO. But in this one, he, uh, he washes up on your beach. If you go to the island, you might find him floating around out there. Or you might find him on your beach. And if you wake him up, and he thinks you saved his life. So we'll give you a special item. These items you cannot order from the catalog and you cannot trade. You can only get them yourself from Gulliver. And there are cool items that you can only get from, um, from over, they're like overseas items that are supposed to like represent things like the Tower of Pisa and the Upper Tower. And anyways, we have the Chinese Linus. We'll go in our house and see what that looks like. No bug, I don't want it. That's where I check the peach every day to see if it's up there because he washes up once a week and, um, it's fun to collect a lot of his items. Some of them are pretty cool. Upon skater. Come this way. They're so hard to see. Gotcha. I've got a pond skater, and I was doing a triple toe axle. Any items in here? Animal Crossing 3, yes! Copper and Booker are gonna be policemen again! Woo! Oh, it's cool. And then Porter will be back driving the train thing of a bobber. Okay. Any going on? August 30th, so that's tomorrow. Police station will be running our BIP command. Bust illegal parkers, as we saw those signs. You can't park there. I hope you've not been involved in any sort of illegal parking activity whatsoever. Sorry, but I do not have a car. I don't even own, yeah, I don't own an automobile. You're, I don't. Okay. Well, that means somebody driving a fancy car is going to be coming into town tomorrow, and we'll have to meet them. So that'll be something to do tomorrow. And then we're going to donate this stuff to Lathers. And then that'll probably be for this video. And then later today, I'll post one of us visiting another. We're going to go visit Albany. 
Um, I guess we'll do the fossils first. Mammoth skull. Yep, yep, yep. That hurricane's been, for being a category one, although we had Isabel and Irene for that matter, we probably only had tropical storm force winds um, and some a couple hurricane gusts. Isabel, we had hurricane gusts, definitely. That was a much bigger storm, but Irene probably had like tropical storm. And that was their pond. So, Atronosaurus Rex, maybe? But anyways, that mean that knocked a heck of a lot of trees down. We didn't have power for a week, and school was closed and all that fun stuff. So, I mean, even though it's a Category 1, people are like, oh, it's not that bad. That's still, that's enough to knock your power out and knock the trees down. And heck, with all the rain they're getting, 15 inches of rain, you can get 20 mile an hour winds and it'll blow trees over. And then all the, uh... Crap. That's my doorbell. That'd be my doorbell. I'm going to just hopefully one of the other family members will get it because I'm recording. That's the thing with Animal Crossing because I'm recording it so often and I'm usually just doing it whenever I'm playing Animal Crossing in my own time. A lot of things are going to go on, like people at the door, like like the phone ringing, like people coming into the room to come talk to me. Because it's just like I'm going to go play video games, but I'm on as well record. It's not like I'm doing a recording session of Tornado Survival every day. So okay. And then there's just a heck of a lot of water. I mean, getting like 15 inches of rain coming down the Mississippi River and then having the wind blowing in 8 feet of ocean water, that's just causing a lot of... It's already going over some of the levees there. And the fact that it's literally done nothing but make landfall back out to sea, make landfall back out to sea, not strengthening or weakening, just kind of sitting there on the coast because it's not moving anywhere. It's causing a lot of problems. Okay, let's go in and see... Yep, so we have all these now. The dinosaur truck was the last one. We've already finished these. Usually it takes me a while to get one or two of them, but we got lucky. Where is our mammoth? There's the mammoth. Mammoth skull. Who's the pond skater? We actually have quite a bit of bugs now. We still need that eating cicada. That's it. I'll record during the evening today. Um, wait. I'm not going to be able to record the evening today. Um, sure. I get. I'll. We'll record one of the evenings. Although we only have two days left. Yeah, fine. I'll. Re I'll record in the evening today. We'll go visit the other town in the evening. So, that'll, um, sorry if you can hear my dad talking in the background. Again, like I just said, these videos are a lot less professional than my other videos. Or at least that's what I'm trying to do. Okay, let's, Lobo, thank you for the apple, by the way. What the hey? Oh, it's just you, huh? I've got nothing against you, but stop shrieking in my ear like that. I don't know what your problem is, Lobo. I understand you're a wolf and you probably have sensitive hearing. But I don't yell at you. I just walk up and say hi, thanks for the apple, and you like freak out. I cut down one tree. One tree to plant another one. Whatever. Whatever. Yep, he is remodeling. We hope to reopen soon. Dude, let's go see what this looks like that we got from Gulliver. And then... That'll be it for this episode. I already have one of those. Any mantis? That's why I keep checking the flowers up here. Because I'm looking for any mantis. Okay, let's go on. Getting just turning into junk. That's it. That's that's exciting. Look at it. That's so awesome. That's one of his more boring items. It doesn't appear to do anything.
doesn't appear to do anything. We're gonna leave it here in our house for now because we don't have any room for it anywhere else. Um, I'm gonna store the paper in here. Then I'm going to put this axe. Wait, let's go through our letters really quick. What do we need and what do we not need? Museum, red. We don't need these anymore. HRA. That one. Alright, I like to keep the letters that are up here that I know I don't want for for doing like for keeping these in here. That I don't want to save. Hang on, I want to keep this one. So I'm actually going to swap this letter with this random one from the museum. Same with this. Axe can go in the corner because we won't use that very often. Umbrella can go over here because we won't use that often. We had another letter from home, I thought. Oh, there it is. Um, sure. Okay, there we go. Okay, sell this. Keep this for later. Keep that for later. Sell this. So I gotta keep this stuff organized because it'll just collect junk and then there'll be junk all over town. As you'll see, that's what happened in my last town. Okay, I'm gonna go sell that stuff. I mean, we'll sell that stuff when we go visit the town, but I'm gonna go save that stuff in the um, post office really quick. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this series. I will be back later this evening. As we go ahead and we'll go travel to Albany. So since the shop's closed today, we can go there, shop, and see if there's anything we can do there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do you guys to support these videos? I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.